Alright guys, uh, what's up? So today, in this video, um, so basically I just want to get out my boa, my big red tail boa, um, who is right here, that's her, um, so basically right now, uh, I'm just going to get her out and uh, mess around with her for a little. Before I do that though, just a little bit, uh, quick, quick, uh, run over my room, so. Um, here is her cage, and then over here, and it's late, it's a little late, it's about 10, 10.30, so I do have his light turned off, and um, that is the frog cage, and then we have some geckos over here, one right there, one in there, my dog, uh, my fish tank, and then right here we have our uh, Brooks King Snake, who's a adult male, about six foot. And my uh, carpet python over here, Leo. Here's some of our pythons over here. Um, right here is my female pastel, who should be laying eggs for me in December. And then these are three males who could all possibly be made with her. Um, now I want this one too because he is, <laughs> I'm not even sure to be honest. He's supposed to be a pastel lesser. If uh, you can't really tell because of the heat light, but he's probably butter. And the other two are normals. So I would like this guy to go because um, it will, it's going to be uh, fun to see what we can get out of him. Okay, so um, I don't want to just go in and grab her. Just go in and grab her and pull her out. Because a lot of times that scares her and I don't want her to be coming at me. I want to get her to where she's moving and I can pick her up and go like this with her until she runs out of energy. So move stuff so that she doesn't run into anything. Because you know she's a six and a half foot approach to seven foot snake. And she weighs about 15, maybe almost 20 pounds. She can do a, a bit of damage. Not to me, but messing stuff up. Um... So yeah, that's why I have this thing. Um, all it is is a stick with paper towel tape so it's not sharp and can't hurt her. So she wanted to be annoying and get right behind her water dish so that it'd be hard for me to get her out. So I'm gonna have to move this. And she's not honestly that mean of a snake. She was when she was little and she bit me a lot like a, a lot a lot bit me a lot but now that she's getting bigger she's about three years old now three years old about seven foot and um she's starting to tame out she really is starting to to tame out looks like i might not have to cook her if she just starts going yeah so we're gonna let it go actually want to take this thing out we're going to let her go she goes back there and then I'm gonna I'm gonna let her go and then I'm gonna grab her and move the water dish back see it's, it's all about technique if you have the technique you'll be good there she goes got her and she's really cold because she was just on the, her water bottle. Set her down for a sec. And here you go. This is her. As you can see, she's about halfway grown. She's about. She's about 15, maybe almost 20 pounds. She might want to bite me. And um, I was kind of expecting this for her to be a little bit, you know, kind of moody when I first got her out of her cage. She tries to get under my rug. You can see I'm, a, I'm about five foot five. About a, she's about a foot longer than me. If I lay out and she stretches her whole body, she's about a foot longer than me. 
right now she's at the point where I can still handle her but if I'm this size and she's full grown as you can see right there she got a little moody that's the first time I've seen her strike in a long time she is not happy Guys, that scared me. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, that freaking scared me. You saw me jump, that stuff scared me. I have not seen her strike in almost two years. Y'all saw me jump. Y'all saw me jump, that stuff scared me. guys so as you saw there uh she got a little mad and um i don't think that she actually tried to bite me i think she just tried to jump back scare me you know let me know that she didn't want to be bothered and that's just kind of the snake she is sadly i'd like her to be different but she's just kind of the snake that doesn't want to be bothered and just wants to be left alone and be fed and um i just fed her a giant 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 rat um, a little under two weeks ago, and she just um, got rid of it, if you know what I mean, uh, today. So, I don't know. Maybe that's why she's mad. She just uh, digested her food and pooped it out, and now she's hungry again. But that just goes to show you, she did not look like she was going to bite me. She was just cruising like this, turned around. Yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe on all my videos. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when I uh, post my videos. And um, that's it for this video. So, peace out.